everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am at the Jeffrey's Antique Gallery in Finley, Ohio. It's been a hot minute since I've been in here. And I also have somebody that's here shopping with me today. Hello. It's Michael, yay. So we're gonna shop up the antique mall today. Let's see what we can find. Let's I'm excited, do let's do it. What I spy back here in this case, right up by the front, there's a whole bag of blue mercury bead garland with the attached little sugar bells. And it looks to be, there's a pretty good amount in there, at least 100, 100 inches, which is about eight feet, I think. Um, looks to be like the bag is 18 in there. I'm wondering if maybe there's multiple strands in that bag. We might have to get in this case and take a peek at those. All right, so there were at least two strands of garland in that bag. I couldn't exactly tell because I couldn't get the bag open. It was stapled shut, the vendor did that. So there might actually be three strands in there. So that would be awesome if that were the case. Um, so yeah. We are going to get that bag of garland, and I always love to look at the books in this particular booth. They have a lot of really um, cool ones from the early 1930s, 1940s. Um, so this one looks really cute here, the fairy tales book. I'm going to peek through here and see if there's any damage to it. Well, this book here had mostly just black and white illustrations, no colored pages in there, so I'm going to leave that behind but there's a lot of cool a lot of cool older books in here but I don't really see anything um, in the kind of price point I'm looking for that I'm gonna pick up today oh look how cute this adorable Samson that was made by Samson little uh, planter with the little applied spaghetti and he's using got a little safety pin on the diaper there there's a Samson and Ralpo $30 so it's a little out of my price range all right, we do have, um, I've never seen Christmas in this booth before. Look at this cute little, little sleeping baby pixie in the stroller. That's pretty darn cute. They've got 19 on that. That's a little too much uh, for me to get that piece, but oh, how cute are this greeting card box. Oh, I love old greeting card boxes. $5, it's just an empty box. Um, that's pretty stinking cute. Love the graphics on that. This is a fun little tinsel tree here. And then this one here with the tiny little mercury bead balls on it. Very cute little handmade piece in there. We do have some, I love these kind of bubble framed, uh, reverse painted little pictures there. That's really cute. Got some turkeys, gobble gobble. Um, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's a little kitty with a vacuum cleaner. Ugh, $42 though. Oh, I have to leave him here, but oh my gosh, that's cute. I spy a flamingo. I love to find flamingos, and I don't see them affordable very often. Um, this one appears to be... I don't see any repairs or major chipping. Um... It's a Maddox, Maddox of California, and it's only $6.50. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get you, Flamingo. We've got lots of doggos. Lots of cute little pupper faces peeking out here. There's a kitty. Meow, meow. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much for me in here. There's some more cute doggies, too. Just don't see anything that's really jumping out at me so much. Um, the little bottle poodles are fun though. Here's a nice pair of mercury glass candles um, in here. I'm trying to see the tag. I think it says they're twenty dollars for the pair, but unfortunately the one is missing the cork at the bottom. I usually I like to find them with the cork still intact. It just helps uh, preserve the mercury um, on the inside. So yeah, I am gonna leave those behind. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Oh, Santa, I don't know what is going on. Is this like potato sack, Santa? I really don't know what's going on here. 
Large Santa with sack. $10. Okay. So we've got applied face on the... F so you're supposed to put, like, gifts on the inside? I have never, ever seen anything like that before. I... I don't know how I feel about it either. So I don't think I'm gonna get it, but um, I, I had to get him on film. I spied this little baggie full of spun cotton little snowmen and angels in here. They're only $1.50. I'm gonna see if Michael might want these to craft with. These amazing giant poodle lamps. I love those. I... Here's the tag. Oh gosh, I'm so short. Another $80. Very cool. I do always love to stop and look at the Halloween stuff. Um, however, it's a little late in the season to be buying anything Halloween. Unless it's something real good that I can save for next year. like that pirate mask. Um, but it is still fun to see all the Halloween gather together like this. I love the little, little nut cups and the ghosty candle. Oh, look at the Kit Kat clock and kind of that coppery color. I've never seen one that color. It's $89, but as you can see, it's got a replacement uh, tail on there that somebody made out of cardboard, it looks like. So he's cool though. I do love the tiny size little McCoy um, planters. 18 on the basket weave. I really love that color glaze. I've got 22 on that one. $37.50 on this one here too. Some really lovely Fenton pieces in here. I love the blue with the painted trees on there. Looks like $90 on that rose bowl. And I also really love that penguin piece in black. $2.50 on that. Really, really nice Fenton pieces in here. How cute is that fairy lamp too? All right, this cutie pie, a little left and gal with her muff. She doesn't come around um, very often. They've got 36 on her. That's a bit out of my price range, but she's very cool to see. Some other really lovely Christmas pieces in here. Look at the little kissing nodders back there. They've got, I think, $65.50 for the pair of those. Oh, look at this giant empire. Santa head. I think that might be the biggest one I have ever seen. Actually, $150 on that is really not a terrible price. He does have some paint scratching. Uh, but yeah, he is gigantic. Wow. How stinking cute is this little toy sewing machine that comes with um, little fabrics to make your dolly clothes and the dolly in there. I'm assuming um, that's just like a little um, sewing accessory kit that would come in there. I can't see the price on that. Um, it looks like for the most part it's got all the pieces to it, but man, it's cute. I had to get that on camera. And this booth here is always full of really fun mid-century decor pieces. They always have some really pretty vases and glass, but 62 on the vase there. Look at that lamp. That's fantastic. Oh, I had to get this guy in camera. Uh, he's a little gobel owl. Um, he's so cute. I love the gobel animals. Um, way better than the homo figurines, uh, but he's darling. All right, I spy some cute salt and pepper shakers. Look at these little dolphins and overalls. I have never, $16 on those. Oh, and these are some um, Lego Japan little Siamese kitty shakers um, with the little whiskers there. They got 24 on those. That is too spendy for me, but cute, cute. All right, here is the epic Christmas booth here that always gives me anxiety every time I go through it. And I say that every time I film here too. Um, but we'll peek in this case in the front. We've got some little pine cone goobers here in the front. Lots of very old ornaments in here. Oh, I like the uh, the birds. Those are cool. But let's take a peek in here. Usually somebody has broken something in here. It looks like they've changed things around a little bit. 
in here since the last time I was here. Um, this wall did not used to be full of bagged things, but I just, it's so packed in here, you can't really look at anything or focus on anything. We've got like a bag of mishmash mercury beads for 14 in there, looks like just shorter little strands. And I always know that there's some cool stuff in this case. I love this little Santa guy. This little spun cotton Santa guy. Um, I can't really see how much he is, unfortunately. But we've got some cool... These deer up here in Santa's sleigh. This garland's cool here. I can't really see how much those are either. But, yeah, they've just got it all going on in here. But it doesn't look like there's any broken ornaments this time all over the floor. Like the last time I was here. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, the ornaments in here, you can't even get in to really look at anything. And then, of course, we've got all of the girly candles in here. And then we're back to all of the bagged things. This is just kind of overwhelming to me. It's very hard for me to focus on anything in here. Uh, what did I pull out the last time I was in here? I think it was a whole Howard little mouse candle holder um, piece, but it was broken. So I left that behind. But yeah, it's, um, it's a lot. But I do know like on the end here, this is pretty consistent. If you're looking for pieces and parts for your ceramic tree, they always um, carry those here in this booth. Um, so I don't need any today, but usually if I find a ceramic tree that's missing a star or something, I will, uh, I'll save it until I can pick out a star for it from this booth. This is something I always have to visit here at Jeffrey's Antique Gallery. Is this Bambi book with this little flocked Bambi figurine. They come together for $45. I did find some vintage books to peek at. Um, I did pull this one off the shelf. It is a Merrill Publishing. I love the Merrill Publishing because they're always really brightly colored. So I'm going to peek on the inside of this one. So yeah, this has got really, really cute graphics in here. So yeah, we're going to get this book. Alright, you guys know I love the Made in England candy tins. This is a George Horner tin from the 40s. It's in pretty good shape, uh, but unfortunately it's 22, so I'm going to leave it here. Oh, we've got all the little pixie flower planters here. They're $20 a piece, unfortunately, so that is a little out of my price range for those, but they are cool to see. Okay, I love this Fenton perfume bottle. 125. I guess I have expensive taste. Look at this McCoy planter with the birds on it. Oh, I love that. It's 150. And look at the crazing on the inside. So, so good. All right, we've got the Royal Bay Ruth here. I love that plate. That is stunning. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. Ooh. It's like a mama goose had an accident there. Usually these are all out of my price range. Oh, the Dalmatians, so cute. 18, ooh, no. We've got some Lego little blue pups. Those are $5, but really bad chip on that one. Oh, these dogs back here are good as well. Ooh, $20, no. Yeah, everything's just a little, a little too much there. A little cutout paper dolls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are probably 90s oh my gosh. reprints. <gasps> but oh my gosh. Look, look at, at the little kitty suit. And the bear. Stop. Those are cute. I've been obsessed with paper dolls. Right? Uh, yeah, me too. I can't help it. They're just so cute, especially if they're uncut. What are these? Well, I like the Dolly Dingle ones better. The little Halloween costume is super cute. Well, I just found this beautiful um, 
Flemish wood-burned hairpin holder. Um, it does actually have a little hanger here where it would hang on the wall. You put your hat pins or your bobby pins in there. I love that and it's $6.50. I'm definitely going to get it. They did have this uh, pretty box here as well. Um, they have 22 on that. I just really don't like the subject matter as much as this piece. Look at the little Patsy doll in her box. She's got little roller skates on. Oh, she's so cute. The Patsy dolls get me every time, but $39.50. I cannot do that. I'm sorry, Patsy girl. You got to stay in the case. Okay, I spied right away two copies of, I have sold this book before, um, but based on the other books that are in here and the prices, I'm scared to see how much they are, um, but I might peek. All right, well, unfortunately, um, that's the price we're looking at for that book, so that is too high for me to pick it up today, but I always love to look for the Elizabeth Gordon books because they're fantastically illustrated on the inside. Now we are in the mega ephemera booth. They have magazines and papers and news clippings and postcards and seals, gift tags, valentines, pretty much anything that you can think of. Sometimes I have the patience to leaf through these. Um, I'm not really thinking, I don't really know what I'm looking for today, so I don't think I'm going to leaf through and take the time to go through all this ephemera today um but it is a fun place to come if you like ephemera or things to scrapbook with junk journal with um it's a great booth to kind of dig through got a christ girl pixie riding the pony she still has her uh little wings attached there i cannot see how much she is i imagine she's probably too spendy uh, but that is not a piece i see hardly ever michael's already had an entire basket of goodies taken up to the front to be pre-wrapped. So we're almost done. Here's Michael's box of goodies. Look at this sleepy baby on top. You found a lot of cool glass things today. All right, we're all done here at Jeffrey's Antique Gallery. Michael found a whole bunch of stuff. Goodies. So make sure and go check out his YouTube page because he's gonna be selling all the stuff that he bought today. It's some good, good glass. Um, so make sure and give him a subscription if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, Let me know down in the comments. What was your favorite thing that I filmed today mm -hmm. or that I purchased? I didn't buy a whole lot here today, but I did buy some good quantity stuff. Over quantity. Hey, it's fine. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one Thanks so much for following along. Bye guys, Bye guys.